Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, it's the Don, it's the Godfather, it's the future Hall of Famer, JD Legend, back again after a long hiatus of discussion videos and uploads. I'm sorry, guys, I have just been out of sorts. It's been a, it's been a while, and I know I have cheated you guys of content, and I am working on coming back full fledged. And I'm starting off with a reaction video to Mr. Moore. You know how I am. I gotta start off with the agenda. That's this is this is what this channel was birthed on. We we, we the foundation of this channel is agenda, and the greatest agenda, my greatest enemy ever, Zoro killing Kaido, and Brother Morge here has created a video. Why Zoro killing Kaido makes no sense. Now to me. It's aggressive. I didn't think Morge would go there, but, you know, people have been talking about it. The TL's been talking about it. Mr. Morge is a big YouTuber, so I'm like, I kind of want to see this. Let me see if I agree with Morge. Let me see if I can push the agenda. Let me see if I can really just, you know, really add some context to this. I want to see his points because I'm curious. You know, personally for me, Zoro killing Kaido is a possible theory. I wouldn't say it's completely asinine. I've always, you know, wavered between 30 to 30 to 60 percent based on what changes within the chapters and whatnot. And I think just with the, you know, the Ryuma, the Ryuma ties and the Shimotsuki ties being compounded on now, it seems like Oda is pushing Zoro in that direction again in a past where he was pushing him away from that direction when he was fighting King. So we still don't know exactly whether it's concrete or not, but let's see what Mr. Morge has to say. Let's see. Let's see. A very popular theory that has been going around for a long, long time is that Zoro is going to kill Kaido. Mm. And today I'm going to break down why this is Look such a plushie. terrible idea. Wow. Not necessarily just because it's unlikely to happen, okay. but also because if it did happen, it would probably be the worst moment in the story for Zoro. Wow. But before we get into it, make sure- That is a strong state. First of all, first of all, first of all, I've always said that. Zoro killing Kaido compromises the entire structure of One Piece and what, and what Oda normally does with these fights. To me, it seems like a really random thing for him to pull out out of, out of nowhere and just go left field. You know what? Luffy's not going to finish off the final boss. It'll be Zoro. But again, there's narrative context. So I'm like, okay, let's see what Morse, but Morse started off aggressive. He started off real aggressive. I'm here for to subscribe I'm here. for more One Piece videos every week. In the same way you want Zoro to Subscribe protect to Wano Morge. from Kaido, make sure you protect yourself with Surfshark, the sponsor for Oh, video. sponsor? No free clout. No free clout. No free clout. If you, want, if you want that clout, you send me that sponsorship. You're not getting that clout from me. Shout out to Morge, though, right here. Y'all want to help my boy Morge out? Use this code right here. You see this code? Morge for three months? Surfshark? Yeah. Morge getting a free clout, not Surfshark. Give me my sponsorship. Anyway, Hello. let's continue. And you get no, hanging up and looking at evidence for there Zoro killing Kaido, which does in fact exist. So Zoro fans, wait till the end of the video before you start typing away. Because They're even though there is some typing in my comment section happening, right now. it is one, unlikely, and two, I don't think you realize exactly what you're asking for. Mm. I promise you, Zoro fans, if you think it through a little mm. bit, oh, look, you my would hair not like screen. Zoro killing Kaido, Ooh. and by yeah, the okay, end, you now. understand why. So to start with, the push for Zoro killing Kaido can be broken into two camps. So one, the camp that believes that Luffy versus Kaido will still be a thing, and that Luffy will even probably get the finishing blow, but that Zoro will be the one to actually kill Kaido afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the most likely one. And then there's the camp one. that believes that Zoro will be the one doing the finishing blow and killing Kaido in the process. So basically, option A I'm not okay with is the, like with a team effort B. with Luffy I'm mainly okay responsible for the like, defeat, seriously, I'm not. but Zoro getting the kill. And option B is, I guess, also a team effort, but maybe more Zoro skewed. And Zoro is the one who ultimately defeats and kills Kaido in the process. Now. We're going to address option B first, since that is easier to disprove. So is there a world where Zoro will be the main force in defeating Kaido, including getting the kill? I think this option did have some small amount of merit back earlier in the Onigashima battle on the roof, when the potential was there for maybe Luffy to take down Big Mom mm -hmm. and Zoro that, to then I get agree. Kaido. I don't think this personally ever really made sense, but I could at least somewhat understand how some readers could believe in this sort of matchup. Well, it's, it's one piece. However, it's head at cannon. this People point, just believe it just looks like, no, Kaido is we're gonna talk about clearly, this too. 
we'll be in my next coming video, we're going to talk about this first battle. and foremost. Right, here we go again. It's not just the way things are framed right now, since obviously parts can move around as they have been doing throughout Onigashima. Not to mention, this probably isn't the final battle, but we won't talk about that here. That video is still coming. Mm. But even disregarding the current setup of the battle, just look at the narrative setup for Luffy to be the main one to defeat Kaido. Right. Over numerous arcs since the New World began, Luffy has expressed his goal, his specific goal of defeating the four emperors. Exactly. The four emperors are his obstacles towards becoming Pirate King, the individuals he needs to surpass in order to achieve his goal. The four emperors are to Luffy what Mihawk is this to Zoro. This panel's cat, by the way, Zoro. Saying Zoro will, will be lost. taking Yeti down the brothers. pirate emperors is similar you know to saying? saying Luffy would take down the world's strongest swordsman. And it's not even just the four emperors in general. Luffy is very specific in that Kaido is his personal goal at the true, moment. True. Kaido has never been expressly Zoro's personal goal throughout the hundreds of chapters never, of Build Up in the New World. Never. The most Zoro has expressed is a last minute desire last during minute. the battle Thank itself you. to go up and assist Luffy in the fight against Kaido. Not to mention within the arc of Wano itself, there has been constant momentum in Luffy's storyline, building towards him defeating Kaido. Yes. Starting with obviously from Act 1, where he fought and was defeated by Kaido. Like a launcher. Act 2, where he spent the entirety of the act training with the singular goal of finding a way to defeat Kaido in mind. Okay. And repeatedly reiterating that he is going to beat Kaido. It sounds like more just reading battle, One Piece. That's what it looks was like. These the are points for, these the are fight points for people who read And the fight even Piece. ultimately came down saying. to simply Luffy versus Kaido one If you one. just read One Piece, Not you'd come to this the conclusion, but, you know, that being with the agenda. Throughout these repeated encounters, with the first encounter, Kaido telling Luffy he is not a king, and the second encounter, Kaido telling Luffy he is not Joy Boy. Mm, these and translations at the same hurt time, my spirit. As Luffy's success begins to increase, we see Kaido acknowledging the rising potential of Luffy. Exactly. The entire framework of Luffy versus Kaido is whether or not Luffy can reach the heights Yo, this he music to have is the like... potential to achieve. The heights Kaido continually this like he cannot achieve, music. but seems to simultaneously I'm sorry, I just have to say it. I'm just very of, not to mention just the general trend of you know I, I don't know I don't think I've ever heard this thousand much. chapter series of Luffy always 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 being the one to defeat the main villain, plus the actual relationship, the personal antagonistic relationship that is developing between Kaido and Luffy. It's over very Luffy category. So all of that is to say that I think Kaido's that there is relationship. very 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 little reason to think. That Kaido's ultimate defeat and death would involve Zoro just coming in, stealing the spotlight from Luffy, dealing the final damage to Kaido, yep. and finishing him off with the killing blow. Yep. I literally don't think there is a single reason to think that Luffy versus Kaido would turn into mainly Zoro versus Kaido at yeah. the end, ending with yeah. Zoro killing him. Now, the other option that I mentioned earlier, the more popular option that more people believe. <laughs> is Luffy being the main factor in Kaido's defeat and Zoro simply being the one to come in and kill him That's at the this end is the most likely scenario in defeated. my opinion it's the most that likely That has scenario. some merit and yeah. again I'll be honest for the diehard Zoro killing Kaido fans here there is reason to believe Zoro could kill Kaido Of course yeah. for starters Zoro is based off Ryuma from Oda's one shot Ryuma. monsters which was about a swordsman killing a dragon. Yes. The Zoro Ryuma parallels have been played up obviously Ryuma. very heavily throughout this arc. And what do you know, there's a dragon in this arc as well. And Zoro has at least expressed interest in fighting Kaido Indeed. and has been involved in the battle against Kaido. Indeed. Not to mention, this whole storyline to defeat Kaido started in Punk Hazard mm -hmm. and actually the very first scene of Punk Hazard yep. was Zoro. Very ominous the to the Ryuma and panel interestingly, while in the one shot. It's specifically Luffy and Zoro who took on the dragon similar to how Luffy and Zoro fought Kaido mm. together. And in the battle against the dragon, it was actually Luffy who provided an assist to Zoro so that Zoro could be the one to ultimately kill the dragon. Mm. So that could be viewed as foreshadowing there. And on top of that, we have Yasue's quote that no one has taken Kaido's head. And that quote could also be looked at now, as Yasue a Yasue is important, that but we'll a lot of people don't like the hard And we know that Luffy is not the type to cut off people's heads. No. And finally, no. even just looking at the one major Zoro and Kaido interaction that we got, with Zoro finally cutting Kaido and getting a scar. Yes, it was a great moment for Zoro, 
but it was still not enough for Kaido to acknowledge Zoro as a swordsman or samurai comparable to Odin. When Kaido fought the exactly. Skaggs, he was unimpressed and said that there will never be another swordsman like Odin. And even Zoro was not satisfied with the damage he dealt no, to No, he Kaido. was not. Exactly. So there is some level of acknowledgement from Kaido that Zoro has yet to achieve. And I can't imagine he won't achieve that considering how much the Odin parallels have been played up for Zoro throughout the Enma. arc. Enma. How much the Ryuma parallels have been played up. The fact that Zoro seems to be a long lost son of Wano at this point. Yes. The fact that Zoro seems to be only just touching the tip of the iceberg in terms of his latent conqueror's hockey abilities. Right. And the fact that Zoro himself was not satisfied with what he did against Kaido. I would definitely imagine that Zoro is not done against Kaido, and from previous pieces of evidence I mentioned, I can see why that would lead some to believe that Zoro will kill Kaido. Yep. However, ultimately, I've made the case fairly clear before, it doesn't make that much sense for anyone to kill Kaido during the Wano War, mm. because the constant throughout the series is simply that Luffy defeats the arc villains, and Luffy never kills the arc villains precisely because they are supposed to see their dreams go unfulfilled. So you have to realize uh, that with okay. a villain like Kaido, whose dream is specifically to die, to be killed in a glorious manner, mm. it only makes sense for him to have an inglorious death or not die at all. We know that is one of Very Kaido's driving motivations. We I have think about that. regarding Whitebeard's death and Odin's death. That is part of Kaido's dream, to have a grand death like they did. Which by definition means he won't achieve it because that is the rule of the series for villains. Mm. The point of how Oda has Luffy defeat the villains of One Piece so that they do not get to see their dreams play out, That's that fair. is how Luffy crushes them by That's robbing fair. them of their dreams rather than killing them. Mm. So it is very, is very about strange 10 right now. to me that with the one villain who is actually doubly likely to not be killed, because Oda prefers to have the villain's dreams crushed rather than for the villain to be killed, and Kaido's dream itself is to be killed, mm. that this is the one villain that people really seem to think is going to die. Let alone that Zoro would kill him when the Straw Hats have a kill count of absolutely zero okay. across the entire thousand chapters that we have seen them on screen. See, I got a problem with that one. Yes, you can say that, technically. But if you look at certain panels, them niggas falling off in this lobby into the the void and the abyss. What Luffy did to that guy in um the 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 pleasure hall or uh, the performance hall, where he basically cracked his skull in and dented it because of the red bean soup. That nigga died. There's no way he survived. He didn't survive. No, we can't. No, no, no. The Straw Hats have killed people before. Robin, honestly, bro, I'd be surprised if Robin has it not at least one time broke someone's neck too far. And they died. I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked. However, if we're going from a technical point of view, he's correct. Technically. Technically. So for Zoro to kill Kaido would break a lot of rules in the series. If Oda wants Zoro to kill a dragon, he's already gotten that visual moment on an artificial creature back in Punk Hazard. Mm. Oda doesn't have the Straw Hats kill real characters. Kaido could possibly be killed after the war, mm. since specifically, his dream is to die in a grand manner, mm -hmm. similar to a Whitebeard or an Odin. Mm. So he could still technically be killed, but just in an inglorious, non-memorable manner, probably after the war, perhaps an imprisoned Kaido being assassinated or someone finds a way to backstab him, etc. Mm. But all of that would be post being defeated, mm. as that would not be the what would be the inglorious way up, though. That's what since I he's know. not dying during this big Onigashima war. I still maintain all the reasons I said before of Zoro getting another significant round against Kaido, and I've talked in past videos about how it seems more so set up with Zoro's talk of leadership and his own blooming conqueror's hockey bizarre, as well as the parallels to the role Zoro played in leading the crew against Oars during Thriller Bark, that Zoro may get a rematch against Kaido in a context where Zoro is having to lead the Straw Hats or other allied forces when Luffy is temporarily they down say for the count. The samurai. I imagine Zoro can yeah. have an even more impressive feat against Kaido than he already has, one that would satisfy him and have Kaido acknowledge him the way he did Odin. But the arc would still ultimately end with Luffy having to finish the job, mm -hmm. as it always does. Okay. And if you don't believe me and prefer to believe that, no, the evidence is still there, we don't care about past villains in, in this particular case, the Wano arc, this exception, Zoro is just gonna kill Kaido after Luffy beats him. 
Well then, Zoro killing Kaido fans, let's talk about it because you really, really, really don't know what you're asking for. Oh, you haven't exactly taught this one. It's a direct call. I've out. talked about said, this multiple think. times before in streams, said, can't but I have to lay it out for you in video format at this point because ahead, I don't Morse. think I'm reaching enough people. Morse talking if crazy. You imagine Zoro killing Kaido after Luffy beats him. Then you just imagine basically the most pathetic move Zoro could ever do in the story. No true Zoro fan would ever want to see their badass hero perform such a pathetic act. Newsflash people, killing a beaten, helpless person after someone else defeated them is not badass. Like actually try to imagine the scene that you were talking about. Everyone is exhausted, everyone is tired, it's the final clash, it's Luffy versus Kaido. Luffy is able to get that final dramatic blow in mm. and finally topple Kaido and make the invincible monster collapse. Luffy defeated Kaido. Now, as per usual, everyone is cheering, yeah, celebrating. This yeah, was the big moment. Excited, yeah. And then what, Zoro walks up behind Kaido's unconscious, <laughs> unmoving body and like cuts off his head? Like what the f One, that's not badass in any sense of the word. Like keep in mind, the role you're imagining for Zoro in this fantasy of Zoro killing Kaido is this guy. You think the big, big. Oh, for Zoro no, Kaido no, nigga. <laughs> Morse is wild. <laughs> Morse is wild, son. He did not just call Zoro a glorified executioner. I'm screaming. He said, You on the scaffolds of Marine Ford, bum. Wow. This it's not me saying it's that. just being you know it's like not me guard number two don't come for me from chapter one that is very very literally what you are looking forward to not zoro having you know a big moment against kaido in an actual fight you are looking forward to the fight being over kaido being defeated by luffy by team effort whatever but kaido is defeated and you imagine zoro <laughs> being marine guard number two oh who will no. kill kaido not marine guard number two all the work is done like, if you think that's impressive or epic, then you are telling me that these two marine guards are the coolest, most badass characters in the story. I mean, forget Kaido. These guys killed the freaking pirate king. Yo, high key. They are the men who killed High key. Old. More just spitting. Hold on. That's a bar. Hold on. So play that again. I need to hear that one more time. It's done. Like, if you think that's impressive or epic, then you are telling me that these two marine guards are the coolest, most badass characters in the story. I mean, forget Kaido. These guys killed the freaking Pirate King. They are the men who killed Gold Roger. Aren't these just like the most badass characters in the story? Oh, more just, You know, it doesn't matter that more they just going the up my ranks and you him. One Piece YouTubers. Who cares about fast. that? He's speeding. Marine guards killing Roger. That's my favorite moment. Those are my goats. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. More stop one. I'm sorry. More just stop one. Brago, I'm sorry. BDA Law, I'm sorry. Grand Line Review, I'm sorry. More stop one. It's over. More stop one. More just my goat now. It's too late. He's my goat. Mind, even if Zoro did kill Kaido the way you guys are envisioning it, he would still never be able to live up to these two Marine guards who <laughs> killed the Pirate King, since killing Roger is obviously far more impressive than killing Kaido. Like, seriously, seriously, think about what you're talking about. I've never seen this toxicity before. Ways. Either you're I saying I was Zoro the is the one to actually defeat Kaido and kill him in the process, which would actually be badass, but it's also just delusional because the entire story is set up for Luffy to defeat Kaido. Or you believe that Luffy will defeat Kaido and Zoro will then kill Kaido, which is, I guess, more plausible, but is also basically the dumbest, most pathetic, unimpressive thing you could ever want oh for a character. Goodness. And if you actually value <laughs> that with as this a panel, badass more, moment, let this then panel you have go. to acknowledge that these Marine Guards are the most <laughs> badass characters in the series who have the ultimate feat of killing Roger. Not the and ultimate really, just feat. think about the character you are talking about here. You're talking about Zoro. Maybe, maybe in some stories, you know, sure. More just Knifing literally. an already defeated opponent in the back to finish them off can be portrayed as cool. Maybe if it's like an assassin type character or something. But we're talking about Zoro, the most unreasonably honorable fighter in the series. The guy who exclusively places value on taking the hardest challenge head on. True. The man who lives and dies by the rule that a wound on the back is a swordsman's shame. And you want this guy to behead an already defeated character. Like even Kaido himself regretted attacking Odin when Odin had his back turned. And you want Zoro to just chop off Kaido's head when Kaido has already lost to Luffy. 
I hope this joke of a theory is put to rest. A joke! Not because all of the arguments for it are necessarily that terrible, but because it would just be the worst writing imaginable. For a character like Zoro, having him pull off probably the most pathetic move in the entire series, and I'm still just baffled that fans are like actually looking forward to that and prefer that to the idea of something like Zoro, you know, actually taking Kaido head on again in a real battle and say, holding him off till Luffy gets back up, or even just setting up Luffy for a final blow, I'm or at the le very least giving him a new scar through combat that makes Kaido His acknowledge him as the successor to Odin. But instead, people are looking again forward with the to Zoro being Marine Guard number two, and that's the highlight moment so many of you want. I can't say I understand it, but if you enjoyed this video, then definitely like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. And you can support me on Patreon for my extended thoughts on this and all of you. Let's go ahead and just uh, go ahead hit this button right here. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and just hit this button right here too. I'm on my personal account. That's why it's not subscribed. But uh, <laughs> like, comment. Oh, I'm not going to comment there. You'll see the govy. Uh, but yeah. Huh future topics and remember you can get surfshark today no free clout okay mr morge i am impressed i have to say i am impressed this was sensational this was glorious never in my life have i needed something so badly but didn't know i needed it till now Never. This was so aggressive. The aggression. The memes, Lord. The memes. Marine Guard number two. That's their new meme. That's the new One Piece meme. I support it. I stand by it. I endorse this video. In the name of the JD family. The JD family officially endorses the channel, Mr. Morge. We endorse this video. Um, some of the things were extremely aggressive. I even wouldn't have gotten that aggressive, but hey, I'm all here for agenda. So listen, Morge, great job, King. You did great. I think you did fantastic. I think it was sensational. I think it was uh, incredible. I know people will have, you know, comebacks, but yeah, I don't know what to say. Well done. Bravo. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Take care. I, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs>